morning, everybody. How you doing? Early on a Saturday morning. Dave in Kentucky. And here to do a shave video. Have a couple new things. And uh, it's a special day in, in sorts. Um, when I started keeping track of uh, consecutive days of not missing a day of shaving, today is the 1,000th day mark. No, past the 1,000. It's 1,095. <laughs> and it's a three-year mark. Anyway, not really special. It's just since I've counted, now I can document and know how many. But anyway, other than that, have some new things in. One is, and it's soaking my hand, Trotter Handcraft Spalted. And I put a two-band badger in there. So I'll take that out. Let that sit here a second. So new to me, love the pour on that. The thing um, looks so much better in person even than it does in pictures. The other is a pretty rare set. I was saving to use it today. Came in with the uh, Streamline when I got it. But this is an EverReady Sunray. I don't know if I uh, it up. You've got the, the blade banks here. It has a stropper, the strop, and the razor. So let me set the case aside. So when you look at that, <clears throat> it's basically a, an ever ready 1912, and that's what people tell you. But with the uh, engraving on it there and there, it's been kind of nicknamed the Sun Ray. Um, Probably not picking it up the best, but anyway, it's all brass. It's 1912, says patent 1912 on it underneath the head, ever ready, British made. And it's just like any other 1912. Solid brass, very heavy compared to the 1912. I need to weigh them, I guess, compare them. Again, pop a, a blade in here. But it's a rare set, and I saw it available <clears throat> from a fellow, fellow forum member that was uh, paring down his collection. And I just wanted to have it. I was able to acquire it. All right. What's pretty neat is... Check my uh, weights compendium. Couldn't even find the picture of it in there. So, throwing things around. I am half awake still. The Soloist by Zingari Man. We're going to use after some Humphreys, if I can remember to use it. <clears throat> we'll use the uh, Winter's Reserve. Let me shake the water out of this and go ahead and start loading while we talk. So, We were supposed to be camping, and I was going to do a camp shave video. Very cold. The campground decided to close things down, shut the water off at least. And I wasn't camping without water. I like water and electric when I'm camping. Nearing 60 years old. In a few years, less than three years. Don't do the math. I kind of require some things when I'm tent camping. In any case, they were going to cut the water off because of a fear of uh, freezing pipes and the cost it would be to them. And so we decided we would just do things from home. So I've been working around the yard, cutting trees. Got a lot more to cut on the hillside today to keep it from being a threat to the homestead. Alrighty, got a good load going on there. So since I wasn't going to be able to do a camp shave, that's the sound. Thought I would do a shave on the day I hit three years. I don't 
expect the shave to be much different than with the 1912, which is one of my favorite uh, razors. Other than maybe easing on the pressure, perhaps being mindful of it since the razor is heavier. Alrighty. Been looking forward to this. So here we go. <clears throat> it's in very good shape. Just has some of the brass showing uh, on some of the ridges there, obviously from gripping it. So it has been used, which is no problem. I would intend to use it if I owned it. Sorry about the silence there for a minute. <clears throat> Just trying to enjoy the moment. <clears throat> this blade's got quite a bit of use on it and still feels good though. Speaking of silence while you're doing a shave video, <clears throat> I remember some years ago watching a popular, popular YouTuber who was clearly um, wanting to build content and build a customer base and monetize his channel which is something i'm not doing i appreciate all the viewers that i have anybody that's willing to watch some some guy shave and i'm just documenting my old uh older and newer uh but mainly older razor collection <clears throat> but that was interesting he made a comment uh, he talks pretty much non-stop And for some reason, that was, uh, I don't know if uh, he had a axe to grind with somebody. But one of his episodes, he made a point to discuss people that do videos. And that uh, lots of, he called, dead space. <clears throat> and he says, I don't like dead space. And he goes on to talk about that. But if you watch his videos, sometimes he'll just say the same thing, the same phrase five, six, and more times. I'd rather have dead space than somebody that's just repeating himself over and over so that he can say he was speaking. So, but, you know, he can do whatever he wants with his. And he does quite well, which is good. Congratulations to him. <clears throat> Some of us just view it differently, I would say. And maybe that's what people are looking for, obviously, if he's got and all the viewers he has. That's good. I try not to say the same thing over and over. I will. I'm old. <laughs> My remember is not the best. But it would be accidental. <clears throat> Excuse me, if that happens. Yeah.
not much to say about the soap uh, made by Zingari Man. Obviously some sort of uh, collaboration or joint venture with West Coast Shaving. I imagine it's available in other locations, but I'm not sure. But you could get it at West Coast Shaving when it's available. It's been out a while. I'm sure that you've seen or heard about it. Um, it's sent notes are on the top here it's a uh, pink pepper rum and tobacco it's a nice blend of the scent notes say enough about uh, Paul Trotter Handcrafts. He has an Etsy store. I'll put a link down below. As well as to the forums that I frequent. And have found to be full of uh, for the most part helpful and kind people. DFS is where I keep a journal. The others are just uh, shave of the day and general posts. <clears throat> the knot of two band maggards is performing exceptionally well. First time out, just uh, had just set the knot yesterday, late morning. has not shed a single hair. Obviously this is the first use. <clears throat> it's a cool looking razor. was stated and I will say it one more time I know it's just a 1912 people would say and it is a little heavier and I will weigh and compare them but I like the uh, unusual or ornate rare ones the handle is slightly different there are others that have this kind of um, engraving or whatever, chain link, whatever you want to call it, but the, the tip of the handle is a little different. It's the same on the stropper. Against the grain. for the gen blade. 
so some Humphreys we filled it up last bottle after this I'm gonna try have uh, some other witch hazels I had uh, a friend on the forum send me a few things and he sent a, a witch hazel um, I had picked up I think it's down here yep picked up two of these came from uh, Puerto Rico, which is what the Humphreys originated from. It's very popular uh, on the island there. This is made with eucalyptine, eucalyptino, eucalyptino 70. So it's also a 70% alcohol, got eucalyptus oil, and it made a lot of the claims that the Humphreys Maravilla 70 did originally, where... It's used for other things, insect bites, fevers, all kinds of things. So I think, thought I'd give it a shot. The scent is different. We'll see how it goes. All right, so let me clean the brush real quick. Dead space, dead space, dead space. <laughs> I've been anxious to see how this uh, knot blooms out. Since I had set it, felt very good on the face. And as I mentioned, it has not shed a single hair. Very impressed with the knot itself. So. Yeah, it looks good in there. So there you have it. That's and again, the lighting and all is not going to do it justice in person. The the colors of the black and the copper, etc., on that. Set that to dry, and we'll hit it with a little bit of the small bat shave tonic. Way too much. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, I love that scent. And it's getting not low, lower, lower-ish, almost the halfway point. It'll last another year, but maybe I should get another bottle as a backup. So there you have it. Use the Trotter Handcraft, and uh, that one's named Spalted. <clears throat> Soloist. Top things off with the Winter Reserve. And the star of the show, at least for me, was the Ever Ready uh, Sunray. So, great shave with it. Uh, as expected, just like a 1912, a little more heft to it, slightly. It might be in the handle, um, but the balance and everything felt good. Dave in Kentucky, going to be a long day. Running the chainsaw on the hill and clearing it. So hope you all have a great day today, too. Take care, and we'll see you on the pages.